YouTubers, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my December YouTuber favorite, so let's just jump right on into it. And my first favorite is just watching and filming vlog videos. I've been having so much fun watching vlogs and filming them. Uh, filming them is just fun for me. It's easy for me to do. I can just start and stop, show you different parts of my life. It's also kind of like a nice like little journal of what's going on in my life and I can look back on it down the road. I think that's just really fun um, to have that. I get a lot of shots of my cat Mikey in there. So it's just a lot of fun to film those types of videos. And I've also been really enjoying watching them um, in particular from two different YouTubers. One is SL Miss Glam Beauty, so, uh, or SL Miss Glam. I've been trying to get caught up on both her SL Miss Glam channel as well as her SL Miss Glam vlogs channel. But I first started off getting into the vlogs just because I find them so fun to watch. And I like watching them first thing in the morning just to kind of get me, um, you know, I'm slowly waking up and it's just kind of nice to watch kind of like, like a YouTube version of like a TV show or something. Like, I don't know. I just, I really enjoy watching vlogs, but they have to be from YouTubers that I really like. I won't just watch random vlogs from people I don't really know. I'm not saying that I know SL Miss Glam personally, but I've been watching her videos for a while. I've been following her on social media. So, you know, I really connect with her as far as like um, YouTuber social media friends. And so I really enjoy watching her videos. So I really also enjoy watching her vlogs. And what's great about her vlogs too is, well, number one, she's a really sweet person, but you know, she has a lot of st exciting stuff going on in her life. She just got married. She got a new puppy, a new house. She's really good with decor, like all of her, you know, like outfits and, you know, rooms and brushes are all just like glamorous and just like my dream. Um, my, my dream, like I would love to have um, decor like her, her brushes are beautiful. Like she just completely my style. And I'm saying this while I'm wearing a backwards baseball cap. I switch up my style from time to time, but I love the whole, um, super girly vibes. So I really enjoy watching her vlogs, especially too, because it's not only like fun to watch, but it's also, um, really helpful to give me ideas on how I want to decorate an apartment or house in the future. And the other vlogs that I've been enjoying um, are from Jay Holmey. So um, she is a new YouTuber in my life. I think, I think I started watching her a couple of months ago, but she just started putting up some more vlogs and I really enjoyed watching hers. She's just so, she's just such a funny person. I love her sense of humor and her boyfriend's really funny too and them together is hilarious. I love seeing them interact with each other on her vlogs. Um, she's funny on her own. She has a dog and it's just, I don't know, it's really entertaining and I'm really loving getting to know Jay Holmey. It's really nice knowing another vegan and cruelty free YouTuber. So I love that about her as well. But hers are just very entertaining. I think um, with SLMS Glam VD, like they're they're more fun to like look at and get ideas and it's inspirational. But Jay Home is just like like your your best like you know kind of like you're getting to know your your best friend and you know she's just very funny and comical and it's a very entertaining. So they're 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 different, but they're both fun and, and unique and great to watch in their own way. And therefore, they're both like my two favorite YouTubers from the month of December because I was just really enjoying their videos. Um, not even just their vlogs, but SMS Glam and getting caught up on her regular channel videos because I got really behind. And then Jay Homie, I've been watching both her vlog videos and her regular videos too, and I've been really liking them a lot. So um, it's just been a lot of fun and I really like their channels. And I'm really detailed with YouTube channels. I like to watch everyone's videos like the whole way through and I like to watch it in order and I like to watch every single video because I feel like you are getting to know the YouTuber and I feel like if you don't watch the whole thing or you like um, skip videos like you're missing out on pieces of that person like if they say something in the future down the road in the video you're not gonna really get their reference or you're not gonna be like oh yeah because she said this at this moment in time like in her previous video like you kind of get um, so I don't know I just <laughs> that's why it probably takes me so long to get caught up with videos just because I'm really detail oriented but yeah I would definitely check out those two youtubers I will link SLMS Glam and SLMS Glam, SLMS Glam vlogs and Jay Homie down in my description box and then I mentioned that I love filming vlogs, but just in general in December, I really realized how much I just loved filming in general. I think part of it too is because the only reason why I ever do my makeup is when I film. So I, I have like a positive association with filming because um, you know, one, I get to wear makeup because on days that I'm not filming, I don't put makeup on because I'm not leaving the house. And two, like it takes time out of my day when I could be working on an Instagram post or editing a video or getting caught up. Um, there's just so much to do with YouTube. Like it, the work never ends. Like you can never just be like, I'm caught up on everything. You are never caught up on everything. 
you can never get to that point. So um, I'm like, why would I spend 45 minutes to put on makeup when I'm not going anywhere, I'm not filming, when I have all this other stuff that I could be working on. So whenever I have a filming day, I'm like, oh yes, I get to put makeup on, I get to be creative, I can try out a new look, I can feel put together. Um, so I get really excited about that. And also too, the, I film on days that I feel good or parts of the day that I feel good, which is usually in the morning, so that's why I film in the morning. Um, so that's just another positive thing too. When I film, not only do I feel more put together and I'm wearing makeup and stuff, but I also know that when I'm filming or going to film it, it's because I'm also feeling um, better for me. So uh, I've just been having a lot of fun filming and I'm really enjoying it a lot. And I guess at the same token, like um, I do have two unfavorites and one of them is editing videos, particularly makeup tutorials because they're more of a pain in the butt to edit, especially if I do makeup tutorials, I have to do a voiceover, then I edit I have to insert like clips of all the products so they're just it just takes a long time and if I'm editing a video that's probably part of the day or the day where I'm not feeling as good because it's easy for me to just sit in bed and then just edit on my laptop um you know so I kind of have slightly a negative association with that um but because I, I typically enjoy editing there definitely were moments that I really enjoyed editing I edited this one thing in my one my December favorites video and it was I really was like excited about it and it took me like 20 minutes to put it together and it was so simple and silly but um so I do still enjoy editing but I just noticed that lately I've just particularly in December and probably going into January I'm really enjoying filming over editing when before I think I enjoyed editing more than I enjoyed filming and before we move on to the next thing, let's just talk about my other un like least favorite thing or unfavored or hate, whatever you want to call it, um, is the Sony A5100. Let me just bring this up. I have a love-hate with the Sony A5100. This is the camera that I rely on to take selfies with. I don't think, you know, sometimes I use like uh, my iPhone to take selfies for like an Insta story or a Snapchat, but I don't do it for what I'm gonna post on Instagram. This is the only camera that I will use for selfies for my YouTube thumbna thumbnails and for Instagram. My Canon T5i is too big and I don't think it was really meant for um, makeup. And I, you know, I'm gonna do a full review on this, pros, cons and everything. So there are things I really like about it as far as like the picture quality goes when you get it right. But overall, and this has been happening for months, but especially in December, it gave me a lot of trouble. This camera is just such a pain in the butt as far as getting backed up and trying to get stuff off of it, trying to get things imported. They're not showing up in the like photo thing where you can import, I can only import pictures and I have to go this special route to get the videos and it's just been such a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna be doing a review vet video soon on this. I'm gonna kinda just like prepare my thoughts but I pretty much know what I'm gonna say as far as pros and cons go. But this is this has been the least user-friendly piece of technology I think that I've that I've used yet. <laughs> it's just so bad. I just, I, I don't know if it's just me. Maybe I'm not using it properly. Maybe I should have read the directions. I, I don't read directions. I just kind of use stuff. But I don't know. Like I'm just, it's just really pissing me off to the point where um, whenever I do have money, enough money to get a new selfie camera, I'm going to be getting something else and I'm not going to be like repurchasing this just because I've been having so much problem, problem so many problems with it. Like it's not worth the extra effort. It, it, it's fine for now, Ugh, but you will see a video where I review it. And then if you want to see the Canon T5i review, I can do that too. But I'm going to do the Sony A5100 first just because I need to warn you guys about some stuff. So yeah. All right, the next thing that I want to talk about is actually the Notes app on my Mac laptop, which is really funny because um, it's like something so simple, but I've been using it a lot to organize like my video ideas for upcoming YouTube videos, and I have a million. And also what I've been most liking it for is preparing my Instagram posts. So before, whenever I was putting my Instagram posts together, I would do it directly in the app. And I cannot tell you how many times I've accidentally deleted something and had to start over, or I tried to post and it didn't go through, or um it, it just and it's also harder to do because it looks like it's like a smaller first of all you're using it on your phone so it's a smaller space but within the app it's even smaller so it's like such a pain and especially if I'm going in with a bunch of information and if I need to copy and paste like it's such a pain in the butt and what really kick started me doing that was creating my at vegan new and beauty Instagram account and the reason being is whenever I post on there I'm reposting photos from companies or other people about products and I'm giving you like updating you guys about products that are coming out and giving you the information on those products I do know in those photos in case you guys are wondering where who, who is responsible for the photo where I pull the information from so I do give all credit um, there's actually a credit section now in my post where I talk about 
where I point that out to you guys. But what I do is like if there's like a new product that just came out, like Physicians Formula just came out with this jelly mask. So I went onto their website and I copy and pasted um, the, the benefits, the claims, the pros and cons. Like, and you know, I didn't want to have to retype all of that. I just wanted to copy and paste it. It's so much easier to copy and paste on the laptop than on your phone. And then I can, it makes it so much easier to organize my post in the notes app rather than doing it on my phone. So what I do is I put together my Instagram post right on the notes app and then I kind of read over it, make sure everything's perfect. Then I copy and paste what I need, send it to myself. So I send through my laptop to my phone and vice versa information. So I send it to my phone, copy and paste from my phone and just paste it into the Instagram um, post rather than typing it all within the post. So it just, it's just easier, it's faster for me to do. And it's, and you know, with the notes app, you can press undo. So if you accidentally delete text, you can press undo on your Mac laptop and or undo typing and then it will re-put up what you had there. So if you accidentally delete it, you still have a chance of getting it back. Uh, with Instagram, you just lose it. So I have been loving that. So now even with, you know, it's been really helpful for Vegan New and Beauty, but also for Beauty Addict Next Door and Alex Dot and Dot Welch, those Instagram accounts that I have, I also started doing that on my notes pad too, just to make my life so much easier. The next thing I wanna talk about is the sparkle emoji. I don't know when I started doing this exactly, but it's kind of just been my thing. Um, definitely the whole month of December, maybe even before that, where I put the sparkle emoji um, before and after like the main title of my Instagram post. I haven't done it on Vegan New and Beauty. I'm not sure if I should do it on there too. You guys can let me know if you want to see the sparkle um, sparkles appear there too, but on alex.in.welch and at beauty attic next door uh, Instagram accounts, I put the spark before the, the beginning of the title and at the end just to kind of grab people's attention on Instagram so they can see like the main title, like because whenever you're scrolling through, you see the picture and you kind of see the first like, I don't know, like seven words or something. So I, ca I try to catch people's attention with the sparkle and also just make sure the title. Sometimes before what I was doing on Instagram, I was just saying, kind of just starting my post saying, hey, beauty addicts, blah, 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 blah. But when you're scrolling through, people just see, hey, beauty addicts. They're like, okay, so they move on. But if you put in the title, review of the elf primers or like elf com primer comparison, like that's gonna grab them more. And then you can kind of, so I do the title with the sparkles and then I kind of go into my review or what I wanna talk about below. So you wanna grab people's attention. So that's why I've been really liking the sparkle emojis just because it's an attention grabber and it's really cute. So I don't know, I've been doing it on those two Instagram accounts, but if you think I should start doing it on Vegan New and Beauty, let me know down in the comments. Another thing that I've been loving too, and this is so silly, I love whenever I'm editing curse words out of my, on my videos. I love when I curse in my videos because then I get to edit them and put in a beep and that's the answering machine sound. Um, I think it's both in iMovie and Final Cut Pro, so it's the answering machine sound. And um, I do have a video that I will link down below for you guys that teaches you how to edit out curse words. But I have so much fun editing out curse words. I think it's so funny. I love watching the video and having a beep come in. I just think it makes it more entertaining and fun. I don't know. So and that's why I'm not against cursing at this point in my videos. I'm like, oh, I get to edit it out. Like, I get to put in a beep. I just, I don't know. It just adds another layer of entertainment. So I've been really enjoying that lately. All right, so now we're just going to finish up with some social media, uh, specifically Instagram and a Snapchat. So for Instagram, there's one Instagram account that has really been standing out to me or stood out to me in the month of December. So it is the little blog of vegan. Her name is Holly Jade. And she just has the most delicious looking Instagram posts ever because they're all of vegan foods, particularly vegan desserts. I don't know why this is taking forever to load. Okay. Yeah, so she has a bunch of vegan desserts. And what's cool about her is when I stumbled upon her um, in her little information box, it said that she's the food blogger of the year 2017, which is amazing. Um, and I can see why based off her post. She has really good recipes. Everything looks delicious. And I think her most successful post has been about her polar bear cupcakes, which are so freaking cute and adorable. I cannot wait to recreate them. But yeah, she just has a lot of creativity. They look really delicious and fun. Like her Instagram account is amazing. So I would recommend going and following her, whether you're vegan or not. Um, I mean, they're just, it's just so many pretty pictures and you can create so many good recipes. And if you are not vegan, vegan desserts are really good. Like just because they don't have the some of the same ingredients um, or the exact same ingredients as non-vegan baked goods, they're still really good, if not better, like really good. Um, 
and even if you, uh, but yeah, so I would really recommend checking her out. She obviously knows what she's doing because she has a, um, you know, she's food blogger of the year 2017 and she did tell me, cause I told her like, you know, you should create, I hope you create a bakery one day and that's her dream is to create a bakery and I just have so much faith in her. She's just, her posts are just so amazing. So if you guys go show her support, um, that may help her reach her dreams of creating a bakery. And I, you know, I really wanted to reach my dreams. So I would love, you know, any support with someone helping me. So I definitely want to give that back to someone else. I don't want to be selfish and just want it all for me. I want so much support for her. I would love for her to create a bakery. And if she could ship me her stuff or create a store, a bakery near me, that'd be amazing. I think she's from the UK. Yeah, she's from the UK. But, um, I, I really hope that even if I never get to try her, her stuff that she comes up with a bakery because I feel like she would be amazing at that. So, um, based off her, her posts, her recipes, how successful she's been with all of it. Uh, so yeah, definitely go support her, go follow her on Instagram, follow her blog, check out her recipes, try her recipes. I can't wait to try some of hers, especially the polar bear cupcakes. Oh, my camera is beeping at me. So I gotta hurry this up. There's one other Instagram favorite and that is creating my at vegan new and beauty Instagram account. That account was so much fun to put together and it's really helping me create my what I buy it. So vegan new and beauty is an Instagram account where I post stuff about new products that are coming out, uh, but they are vegan and cruelty free and they're cruelty free. Um, from the standpoint that they're cruelty free companies that do not have parent companies that test on animals. So I just share products um, and companies that I support on that Instagram account. And that kind of keeps you guys up to date on what's new and stuff. So pretty much it is a vegan and cruelty free version of at trend mood one. And I do reference trend mood one quite a bit on there because she does come out with a lot of stuff and get like stuff sent to her and get swatches and stuff. So but on my, my account, you will only see vegan and cruelty-free products, which will make your life easier if you're vegan and cruelty-free. So make sure you guys go and subscribe there. Even if you're not vegan and or cruelty-free, please go support me so I can grow the, the Instagram account. But I'm so glad that I put it together because I definitely felt like there was a need for that type of account. I'm sure there may be an account out there but already, but um, I definitely wanted to put one together um, for myself and just hopefully that can grow. And it's been really helping me with my what I buy it videos because I coordinate what I talk about in my what I buy it based off of what I post on my Instagram account. So everything that I post on my Instagram account, I'm going to mention in my what I buy it. So kind of like my Instagram account, my vegan new, at vegan new and beauty Instagram account is like the sneak peek to my what I buy it. So I post that stuff on my vegan at vegan new and beauty Instagram accounts and then I talk about them in my what I buy it. And I let you know in my what I buy it, which are on my beauty addict next door YouTube channel, I let you know what I purchase this product if I had the money. All right, I'm not sure exactly where I locked off because my camera is dying. It's probably gonna die in the next 10 minutes. So I have to wrap this video up. So I'm not sure exactly where I left off, but pretty much I've just been excited about at vegan new and beauty. It's a new Instagram account that I made. I really hope that, you know, um, it really helps a lot of you out there who are vegan and cruelty free. It definitely is at least helping me create my what I buy videos and really staying up to date, to date on new products that are coming out. I definitely think before I created that account, I did not pay attention at all. And you know, part of that's because, you know, I don't have any money to spend but at the same time I do want to be aware of what's out what's coming out and to be able to inform you guys so that's really been helping me it's a great guide it's a great reference it makes filming easy so I'm really excited about that Instagram account and I will link the information about that account down below but it's at vegan new and beauty okay so then I have two more which are both from snapchat first I'm going to share with you guys my favorite filter from December this may have even come out in November but I just obsessively use it if I'm even whether I'm wearing makeup or I'm not wearing makeup I go to this filter and it's the one with the big glasses and the freckles and like the fall leaves falling I really hope that they keep that one around I remember really loving the bunny one last year and I tried the bunny one this year just came out again and I was just like not into it I'm like this is not good enough the glasses and freckle one is so perfect for the days where I'm not wearing makeup and I even like it on top of makeup so I really hope that that filter sticks around and if there I wish there was a way to like um, if snapchat you know wants to release new filters if there was a way where you could buy one or two filters that you always have in your filter deck or something that'd be so cool I would totally pick this filter it's amazing and the last favorite that I'm going to talk about with you guys is the animated stickers on Snapchat. I believe it came out in December, maybe at the end of November. I'm not sure. But the animated stickers are pretty much they have 
first of all, they have new stickers, which allow you to, you know, insert the day of the week and the time, kind of like how InstaStory did it. So I'm so glad that they do that now because I hated having to, you know, swipe to get to the day of the week. And then I'm like, well, I also want to speed up the clip and I also want to do this, but I don't want to, you know, like there, it's a way where you can do multiple things in one um, video. So I'm really glad that they came out with the stickers just in general so that way I can include, you know, the date and the time. I really like to do that for whenever I'm doing um, snaps. Like the first snap of the day, I always put, you know, the day of the week and the time. And then I've been really especially liking the animated stickers where like things are moving. Like there's this one where like a heart's falling and there's one where it's like a butterfly flickering. And I think that they're just really fun. I know for um, Christmas time they had like a stocking where the bunny popped out. Like so incredibly cute. I know last, the la I think the last time I did uh, a YouTuber favorites video, I was talking about, you know, the animated Bitmoji, but now we have animated stickers. So Snapchat is just killing it. Snapchat is definitely still my favorite so, uh, social media app. I really like Instagram, but Instagram is more work and Snapchat is less work and more fun. Like there's just so much fun to it because that Instagram to me is like professional and Snapchat is just, you know, more fun and laid back. So I really like Snapchat. So I've been really enjoying those animated stickers. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Let me know what your um, favorites are. Even if you're not a YouTuber, what was your favorite Snapchat filter? Or, you know, what was your favorite Instagram post? Just let me know. Or what type of YouTube videos do you guys love to watch? Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Click that little bell so that you're notified when my videos have been posted. Like this video if you did like it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Coming in at number 10 is a video from Beauty Blogger 101. It is my How to Host a Giveaway 2015 edition. This was published on September 18th, 2017. As of today, uh, what is today? December 19th, it has 5,308 views and it has 129 likes and 17 dislikes. So again, I've mentioned this one has already come up in my